little video on uh, e-submissions. A uh, couple of little things to remember is to make sure with e-submission you have to actually go to assessments, not courses. So assessments, you can either go up and coming or pick the actual subject that you're going to use. In this case, it's materials design. I'm going to pick this particular assessment. Um, got the date there when it's due. Click on it. So the first page that comes up, make sure that you're looking at that there's three tabs open here. If the assessment hasn't been open, you won't see the submissions tab. So it means your teacher hasn't ticked the box for e-submissions. So you might have to tell them that. But if the submission tab's there, it means that it's ready to take an e-submission. The overview tab has got the actual assignment and any other resources attached to it. Um, in this case, this is task six. So if I clicked on that, it would download uh, what the actual assignment is. But in this case, I want to make an e-submission. So design folio, general test of drawers. Here's a submission that I've already added. Um, I'll get rid of that. And I'll just show you the process of adding a new submission. So browse to where I've saved my assignment. In this case, materials technology, chest of drawers project. And this is my submission. And there it is. Don't cross it off because that gets rid of it. If you've uploaded the wrong one, you can remove it. But as soon as you click that button, it will be uploaded to your teacher.